Okay, so this video is, I guess, just to help anyone who is trying to get into any kind of, I guess, alternative thing. And this could go for, I guess, pretty much any alternative thing. And, um, I'll have pictures and videos and stuff in the background so then you can kind of get an idea of what different stuff kind of looks like and whatever. Um, but yeah, so um, so I'm guessing there's probably just going to be mostly people who are kind of new to it or trying to start out into it and like they don't really know exactly where to start but they want to start <laughs> and try to get into it more. But um, yeah, I guess I will, you know, tell you about basic whatever that a lot of people should probably know about this and that kind of thing. Um, so I guess, you know, there's like goth, punk, emo, whatever. Um, and like, I guess steampunk is kind of in there kind of became its own thing in a way, but yeah, um, so there's quite a few, I guess, different kinds of things. Also, there's quite a few different things within, like, like, goth, like, there's a bunch of different types of goth, like, I guess, styles and stuff, and so, you know, there's, like, different fashion and music and art and whatever that can be considered some kind of goth thing. Um, so like, you know, there's like, of course, like goth and metal or, or uh, yeah, rock, metal, whatever, punk, any whatever kind of like music, art, clothing style, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, I guess it could be confusing for some people who are just getting into it and they like, you know, there's all these different types of alternative styles and even just in within like goth or within like, I guess even emo, like there's a, quite a few different styles that you could look at. Um, also goth has like a big history. Other stuff, it's a little more just like, uh, like, metalheads would just be, you know, it's kind of just mostly about the music and that's kind of it. So, you know, whatever. So, like, it's a little easier to just whatever with, like, metalhead kind of stuff because it's mostly just music, pretty much, I guess. I guess there's somewhat of a fashion thing surrounding that, but also, I guess, you know, it's mostly just music. Um, and then for emo stuff, it's like, you know, there's the music, and then there's also, like, fashion and whatever, so it's kind of like, you know, a little more to it. And then with, like, goth, there's, like, you know, music, fashion, literature, buildings, art, all this stuff. Um, I mean, even with, like, emo, there's some art kind of style there too, so it's not, I guess emo's also a little bit more than just music and fashion, there's also some art stuff, but with goth, um, I think since there's such a giant history behind goth stuff and just goth as a whole, then there's like so much more to it, and so there's like, you know, the music engineer that is like goth and like, you know, goth rock, goth metal, all this stuff. Um, and then there's like gothic architect art architecture. I can't say the word. So like you know gothic buildings and stuff, and like they look all cool and whatever. Um, and then there's you know the fashion and the makeup and all that. So then it's like you know there's like Victorian goth, the steampunk kind of came off of goth, but it's kind of its own thing. So it's a little you know whatever. Um, but like there's also like pastel goth, new goth, um, there's also like, uh, there's other ones that I'm kind of forgetting. Uh, there's the vampire, I think vampire and romantic goth are kind of, they're like kind of the same or just like really super similar. 
Um, but there's other ones too that I could list off in like maybe in the comments or in the description or something. I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff in the description for you so then you can like go look at other stuff so then you know it's e it's easier for you to just like whatever but yeah I just wanted to like you know look at pictures you can you know look at all the pictures in the video or in the background of this video to kind of get it whatever um, and then there's like you know I have a bunch of stuff in the description so you can look at other stuff other videos other like you know pictures and stuff and kind of get a sense of whatever there's you know you can also find like music and stuff that is you know alternative stuff so you know people are always doing the lists of like goth bands or albums or whatever songs or emo bands and stuff or punk stuff so you know I mostly know about like emo and goth punk you know I kinda you know whatever by haven't really, I guess, got into it as much. So, you know, whatever. Um, for punk, it's, I guess, I guess there's music, whatever, and fashion, and then there's also, like, political side of it, too. So, that's kind of what I, whatever, for, like, punk stuff, but also at the same time, I don't know. I guess as much about it <laughs> as like goth or emo. Um, I feel like a lot of people go from being emo to like goth or emo to punk or whatever it seems to be the whatever year for a lot of people where they like when they're a kid they're like emo and then they kind of grow up and they're like you know I'm going to move on to like more goth stuff because, you know, it's a little more, I guess, I don't know, older-ish, I guess, I don't know. A lot of people who, I've seen like some goth people be like, oh, goth is more elegant and then emo's trashy and it's kind of like, no, <laughs> like, why are you saying that? It's kind of shitty and it's like that's not the point of being goth like with all the alternative stuff um like the communities and the styles and stuff it's about being yourself and not being a complete fucking dick <laughs> so it's like you know it's not about judging people either like you know dicks are the people who judge people like the point of being alternative is not being a shitty person. Usually it's the normies, the so-called normal people that are tr shitty and judging people all the time. Like, you know, when someone's goth, then it's kind of like, you should know how it feels to be judged or, I, I mean, this could go for anyone, not just goths, but like, you know, when you're in the alternative, whatever, then like, you know how it it feels to be judged, so why the fuck are you judging other people then? So it's like, why are you judging emos? Just, like, what? <laughs> also, I see a lot of people in the goth community specifically being like, you have to do this or that to be goth, if you don't do this or that, you're not really goth or whatever, it's kind of just like, shut the fuck up, like, stop gate gatekeeping like you don't have to do all of this and that and look a certain way just to be goth like you can like being goth or alternative or whatever is literally just about being who you are it's not about being this or that like literally the entire point of like goth and punk and emo and stuff is having your own style having your own unique thing. That's why people look down upon people who copy other people. It's because you're supposed to be yourself. Like, if everyone was the same, that's that's shitty. That's why we are alternative. It's because we don't want to be the same as other people. Like, the normal people, the normies, are all the same. Alternative people are all different and unique and that's why it's called alternative, <laughs> it's because we're all different and we're all unique. We have all, of, all of our own different styles and tastes and stuff, so it's like, you know, you can't just be like, oh, I'm 
better than you, I'm a better goth, I'm a better emo, whatever, like, I have more goth points than you, you lose goth points for liking this or not liking this, like, you know, it's kind of just like, shut up, stop gatekeeping, like, if someone's goth, then they're goth, like, if they say they're goth, then they're goth, like, shut the fuck up and leave them alone. It's like, it's also kind of just like, you know, every time some, like, when women are in, like, a nerd community and, like, you know, I see this a lot with, like, superhero stuff, where some men will be like, oh, do you know the superhero? If not, you're not a real nerd. You're not a real fan. You're a fake fan. And it's just like, shut the fuck up. Even if they don't know who it is, why the fuck do you care? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, no one's out here claiming to be a super fan of whatever, this and that. So it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, I don't get it. Like, oh, fake fan, whatever. It's like, or like, um, the whole thing where people would be like, you don't truly like this band if you don't know all of their birthdays, all of the band members' birthdays, or all of their heights, or all of their favorite food, or whatever. It's just like, no, stop. <laughs> people can just like a band and not be like obsessed with the band mem members. Like, like, hello? <laughs> Maybe they just like the music, they don't want to be like, know everything about the band of members, like, shut the fuck up and leave them alone. Like, they don't have to know every single thing about this and that, like, they can be fans of something and not know every single thing, like, you know, why the fuck does it matter, who cares? Like, they're not hurting anyone anyways, so, why the fuck does it matter? <laughs> Like, if I said, oh, you're not really emo if you don't wear black nail polish or something, like, that would be dumb. Not everyone wants to wear nail polish. So, like, you know, <laughs> I can't just tell people that they're not actually this or that if they don't do something. That would be stupid and shitty and gatekeeping. Like, just leave people alone. Like, the whole point of being alternative is being yourself, so shut the fuck up and fuck off, okay? So, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk about that, but, you know, I also just, you know, wanted to, whatever, so if you're going to get into this, don't be a dick. <laughs> and, like, you shouldn't care what other people think either, especially if you're, you know, gonna get into alternative styles. A lot of people are gonna judge you for whatever, and you shouldn't care about that. And if someone says you're a fake goth or fake emo or whatever, like, fuck them. Just give them the finger and leave. <laughs> like, don't, don't care what they think. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't know you, so why the fuck should you care? Um, also, I see a lot of people asking, like, if they can be this or that and still be goth or emo or whatever. Um, and, like, it's kind of like, of course you can still be this and that and whatever. Like, a lot of people ask if they can be religious and be goth or emo or whatever. Because, like, for some reason, a lot of people think goths and emos and punks and whatever are evil. And so, therefore, they can't be, like, Christians or something or religious. And it's kind of just like... What the fuck? <laughs> like, of course you can be religious and still be goth or emo, or still be religious and s be goth or emo, or whatever. Or some people even ask if they can be black or Asian and still, and like, you know, be goth or emo. And it's like, a lot of goth bands and emo bands and stuff have people of color there. And like, you know, people think that only white people can be goth or emo, but it's like, you know, black brown, Asian, whatever, like, you can all be goth, emo, punk, or whatever, like, these fashion and music and whatever, there is no race to them, so, you know, you don't have to be white to <laughs> be goth or emo or any of this, so, you know, don't worry about that. It's kind of dumb to think that only white people can be whatever, or, or, like, you can't be religious and whatever, like, of course you can be religious or, um, be someone of color and, you know, be goth or emo or whatever, anything like that, so, 
don't worry about that kind of stuff. So, yeah, um, I feel like this video is kind of long already, and I don't want it to be too long. So, you know, if you want to know more, I guess you can go to the description and see all, like, the links and stuff, and it'll, there'll be more, and there'll be, like, lists of music and stuff, and lists of, like, different stuff, and, you know, other things that you can look at or read about, and, you know, whatever. Um, I also, I mean, I kind of also want to talk about, like, you know, other stuff that actually, <laughs> even though this video is already kind of long, um, I actually also want to say, like, you don't have to be, like, depressed or, like, doing self-harm or you don't have to be angry and violent and stuff to be goth or emo and punk. Like, that's not the point of goth, emo, or punk or any of the alternative stuff. Like, you don't have to be self-harming and depressed and shit all the time. Plenty of us are actually happy people, <laughs> so, like, you don't have to be always trying to kill yourself or anything either, like, that's not the fucking point. Not all of us are like that, so stop with the stereotype. <laughs> so, you know, don't do that. I almost forgot about that, <laughs> but I also really just, I really need to say that, so yeah. Um, anything else that I forget, I'll also put in the description or in, like, the comments or anything like that, so, you know, I, I, I just don't want this video to be too long, so, you know, whatever. But yeah, I'll have like links and stuff down below so then you can whatever. But yeah, anyways, I guess that'll be it for this video, so um, bye!